This man is too cruel. The dog just wanted to come in to avoid the rain. He directly drove the dog out. To prevent the dog from coming in again, the man didn't even wear shoes. He hurriedly blocked the door, fearing the dog would cling to him. But he never expected how heartless he was at that time. How heart-wrenching it was to cry in the future. The dog did not leave after being driven away, but hid next to the trash can at the door. Early the next morning, the man threw the uneaten food into the trash can. However, this scene, it happened to be seen by the dog next to it. It even thought this was thrown to it by the man. So he made up his mind. This master, it has been fixed. Since then, every time the man goes out, the dog will follow closely behind him. No matter how the man drives away, it never left its side, but that day, a motorcycle lost control and hit the dog. Seizing the opportunity, the man intended to leave, but the piercing scream made him stop in his tracks. He turned back slowly, only to see the dog being thrown 10 meters away. It rolled to a stop in front of the man. The heartbreaking scene before his eyes left him stunned in place, but hearing the voices of the neighbors getting closer, the reclusive man still heartlessly walked away. He lit a cigarette, pretending as if nothing had happened. But coincidentally, at that moment, the TV was also showing news about the dog. At the same time, on the street, people were anxiously staring at the perpetrator, seeing that the wound would heal if not treated soon. The dog lay on the ground, its fate unknown. Although the little girl wanted to help, she was helpless. Finally, the man couldn't take it anymore and walked out. Lost his parents at a young age, but his kindness at heart was never extinguished. He lifted the dog onto the motorcycle. He took the dog to the hospital under the gaze of onlookers. Luckily, the dog was not seriously injured. It's just unknown what it had been through. Extremely sensitive to needles. The man also discovered this by accident. He was particularly liked by animals. After giving instructions, the doctor allowed him to take the dog away. But the man didn't plan to take the dog with him. He believed that paying the medical expenses was already a virtuous act. However, the hospital was not obligated to adopt the dog. Finally, after negotiations between both parties, the doctor agreed to the man's request to find an adopter for the dog within four days. Due to the pet ban in the man's community, he had to cover the dog when he went back. Enough scenes, but this scene, the little girl who had been waiting for a long time finally saw a puppy. The man finally realized that it was the puppy's tail that was exposed. Luckily, the little girl meant no harm and also promised to keep the secret for the man. Okay, however, on the first day bringing it home, he already regretted it. The man just turned around and lit a cigarette. But when he turned back, his takeout was gone. At night, the puppy was restless too, always barking towards the window, in order to prevent the noise from being heard by the nearby residents. The man had to calm the puppy down first. But just as he was about to fall asleep, the puppy started barking again. And so it went on and on. The man was tossed and turned all night. It wasn't until morning that he finally lay back in his bed. But to his horror, the alarm clock went off at that moment. The man was helpless and had to go to work exhausted. What's more frustrating was the puppy sprawled out in all directions. At this moment, he fell fast asleep instead. Just like that, the man and his worst performing colleague spent the whole day fishing. Luckily, when he got back home, he wasn't alone anymore. The dog excitedly jumped on the man. But the next moment, the man was stunned. Also experienced for the first time, the Labrador's ability to destroy things at home. This really infuriated him. He was about to scold the dog, but found that this furry kid had no shame. It even wanted to go out for a walk. So the man instantly came up with a good idea. He took the dog to the park. After seeing no one around, he quickly untied the leash. Before the dog even realized it had been abandoned, the man had already sprinted back home in one breath. However, before he could be happy, the doorbell rang. Hi, only to see a little girl looking mysterious. She asked the man to keep his voice down, and then, surprise, it was easy to tell from his expression that he was very happy to repay the man's abandonment. The dog took his pants when he was most vulnerable and shamelessly appeared on the street. The man, helpless, could only use a sheet to catch it and then pretended nothing had happened and walked back home. Luckily, he successfully brought the dog back. However, the dog often brought surprises to the man. For example, this and this. But after waiting for four days, two weeks passed without anyone coming to adopt. His bank balance was also decreasing. So these days, he has been thinking about changing jobs. The man can no longer stand the disturbance. He angrily rebuked the doctor for not keeping his word. He refused to give up until he got an exact date. Hoping and waiting eagerly, the man finally waited for this day. But the dog seemed to eavesdrop like it heard a phone call. That day, it made a mess of the house. 
Unexpectedly, as the man was about to reprimand, the family who adopted the dog was already standing at the door. The abusive owner, and the dog who had been abused beyond help. Seeing the situation, they turned around and left without saying a word. Madam, it's not the dog's fault. In the one who destroyed the house. Kid, do you want to have a dog? Yes, your dad is as lazy as a dog at home. We don't need to keep one. The woman's mind is made up. She refused to adopt the dog no matter what. Watching the car drive away, the man didn't know what to do. He called the vet for help again. Dogs that have obtained a dog license are more likely to be adopted. However, when they were getting the license, the staff asked for the dog's name. The man hesitated for a moment and then said, TSK TSK. What? Its name is TSK. Goodness, this name is quite something. The girl was helpless, but she still registered it. And the dog license number happened to be 777. Due to severe lack of sleep in recent days, coupled with long-term smoking, the man hadn't sent the dog away yet, but almost sent himself away instead, seeing the owner lying on the ground unable to get up. The dog kept barking. Luckily, the barking caught the attention of passers-by. The man was taken to the hospital by an ambulance. Does he have any family? Aren't they following behind? The dog ran all the way. Disregarding security's attempts to stop it, it rushed into the hospital. When the man woke up, he only saw the dog anxiously waiting outside the window. This moment, it's like family members praying outside the operating room. The man also feels a long-lost warmth at this moment. Unconsciously, the man has gotten used to the presence of the dog. He feels that having this lively treasure at home seems quite good, just as he was hesitating about whether to adopt the dog. When he was indecisive, the vet has already brought the family prepared to adopt. For a visit, the children really like this dog. This time the dog unexpectedly didn't resist. It looked pitifully at the man, hoping he would speak up to keep it. However, the man didn't say a word from start to finish. When it was really time to leave, the dog struggled to come back. The man watching this scene felt a lump in his throat and was very uncomfortable. As it left, the dog's eyes were full of confusion and disappointment. It didn't understand why it was being abandoned again. Since the dog left, the man's heart was not at ease either. Work was going poorly in every aspect, often venting inexplicable anger at colleagues. Drinking heavily every day, life also became a mess. That day, the neighbor's little girl gave him a painting. A person, a dog, and a house on the painting made the man lost in thought. At this moment, the veterinarian called, urging the man to quickly transfer ownership. This also gave him the chance to meet the dog. However, as soon as he entered, he was surprised to find it was snowing heavily inside the house. Taking a closer look, only then did he realize it was his own dog's doing. Watching this scene, the man struggled not to burst into laughter, but his acting skills were obviously lacking. Forget it. The man stopped pretending, started laughing out loud, and then, the next moment, these two oddballs were kicked out. On the way back, the man had never felt so happy. This time, he didn't hesitate anymore. He officially adopted the dog and named it Charlie. Under Charlie's care, the man also began to rekindle hope for life. He, who didn't like socializing, got to know many people through Charlie. He also changed his usual ways at work. He encouraged his new colleagues like never before. With Charlie's guidance, the man also slowly started to quit smoking. He learned to take care of himself. He put on matching outfits and took a photo with Charlie to make it easier to take Charlie out. He even completely redesigned his motorcycle. He thought life would continue to be happy like this. But that day, the man discovered that Charlie was sick. Due to inbreeding, it had an incurable genetic disease. Now, there are only two options before him. Either undergo chemotherapy to possibly live two more years. But the process would be long and agonizing. Or just let her enjoy the last moments of her life. Although brief, the dog must have been very happy. The man doesn't want to choose either of these two options because he can't bear the pain that comes with it. But at this moment, Charlie was unusually excited. It seemed very interested in the snowy mountains on TV. Perhaps this is also the best arrangement. At this moment, the man had already made a decision in his heart. To save time, the next day, the man said goodbye to the little girl and set off towards the snowy mountains with Charlie. But they hadn't gone far. The vet sent a video. In it, a person was approaching the dog with a syringe. The man suddenly remembered that Charlie was also afraid of injections. Next, the person filming was shouting kitten, while subjecting the dog to abuse. This heartbreaking scene made the man tremble as he watched. Looking at Charlie standing in the distance, the man tentatively called out the name kitten. Kitten. Indeed, the video shows a young Charlie, 
What's even more heartbreaking for the man is, at this moment, Charlie, stressed, is hiding behind a rock. He's cautiously peering at his owner, too scared to come out. Just hearing the name already makes him this scared. The man dares not imagine what Charlie has been through. He found the address through a vet. And then, with Charlie's help, managed to control him, leaving only the head outside. The man helped Charlie resolve his emotional issues. Before leaving, he reported to the police. The staff also rescued the dogs here. Afterwards, they hit the road, each with a dog. The road to the snowy mountains is much farther than imagined. They haven't even reached halfway. Fuel costs became a big issue. The man's savings are also about to run out. But when he saw how much the dog longed for the parachute, he spared no expense and let Charlie experience it. However, money can buy happiness, but it cannot buy health. As Charlie's condition worsened, its fur started to shed more and more. The cancer cells had already started to spread, watching the dog no longer as active as before. Lying listlessly in the car, the man felt extreme heartache, knowing he had to speed up. However, the next second, the gas tank unexpectedly ran out of fuel halfway. They could only seek help on the roadside, but despite trying for a long time, not a single car slowed down for them. After who knows how long, they finally met someone who also loved dogs. Since both of them had dogs, they had a lot of topics to talk about in the car. The man warmly invited them to visit his estate. After spending a few days together, they became close friends who could talk about anything. Charlie also found his happiness here. They first had lunch together, then showered together, and finally sealed their love with a kiss. Until they finally reached the small grove. Harmonious music playing, but happy times are always short-lived. The man discovered Charlie's cancer cells had already spread throughout his body. They had to leave to alleviate Charlie's pain. The man spared no expense to buy medicine for him with his last bit of money. Halfway through the journey, the stored engine oil had run out. They had no money to refuel the motorcycle. It was just a piece of scrap metal to them. So, they had no choice. The man had to sell his beloved motorcycle. They could only continue the journey on foot. They slept on the streets when tired. They ate the cheapest food by the roadside when hungry. Watching the dog's health deteriorate. A man who never had faith. Yet in the crowd, he prayed most devoutly. With countless lights behind them. Yet not a single one was left for them. Only the final stretch remained. The man boarded the bus with his remaining savings. Here, they finally saw the long-awaited snow mountain. But unexpectedly, the next moment, the soldiers blocked the road for the bus. The man hurriedly got off the bus to inquire. It was then revealed that there was a mudslide ahead. It would be impossible to clear the road in just 10 or 15 days. However, the dog couldn't hold on for that long. But the officer couldn't do anything about it. Seeing the man causing trouble, he ordered his men to subdue him. The army commander was attracted by the commotion and came over. Strangely, after seeing the man, he not only didn't get angry, but politely invited him to the military camp. It turned out that the story of the man and the dog had been reported and had spread throughout the country. This was also thanks to the journalist friend they met on the way. Finally, the officer let them rest well. Tomorrow, they will be escorted to the snow mountain by the military. However, upon returning to the tent, the man clearly felt that Charlie wouldn't make it through the night. So he took out the clothes from his bag and then carried Charlie on his back, sneaking out of the military camp cautiously. They walked for who knows how long. Until morning, they finally climbed the snowy mountain. Seeing the heavy snow, Charlie surprisingly perked up. Then, miraculously, he regained his form of vitality, running in the vast white snow. The man was also stunned by the scene before him. And so, just like before, they played wildly in the snow for a long time. A cheerful atmosphere filled every snowflake. 